Hi everybody! Today we are in my room and I have been going through my closet, just organizing a few things. Um, it's been about a month since we moved in and I spent the whole day yesterday going through my closet and going through clothes that I've been wearing a lot of this summer and I thought now would be a great time to do a new vlog. So today's vlog is going to be all about my summer essentials. Um, all the outfits and pieces of clothing that I've worn a lot of and really um, used a lot this summer. And so I figured I'd share that with you guys. So I have everything laid out on my bed. Um, I've pulled everything that I've worn a lot of out of my closet already. I'll give you guys a little bit of a tour of my closet um, just to show you how I've organized my um, things in my closet and then after that I'll go through all of my summer essentials. So here is my closet. Um, it is our there's my puppies <laughs> peeking around the corner. Um, it's a um, basically like a hallway that you walk through that goes into my bathroom and Sean's side of the closet is over here and my side is on this side. And I just um, kind of went through everything because basically before I had a lot of stuff still in bins on the floor. Um, I condensed it down to two bins. Um, I did have like four or five bins that had my jeans in it and everything, but now I have pretty much gone through everything and organized it um, to fit me a little bit better. Um, so this is how I've done it. Um, up at the top shelf up here, I have gone through my jeans and I have my regular like ankle length jeans um, on that side, my white and color jeans in the middle, and then these are more of like my cropped or um, pixie style jeans and then um, jean shorts right there. And then um, on the rack I have um, long sleeve shirts and sweaters over on this side. I have, this is actually my tank section where all of my tank tops are, but I've actually broken this up into two different sections as well. I have from here over, I have um, like spaghetti strap tanks and then um, about halfway over is more of like the wider strap tanks. And then down below, um, again, in my bins that I have on my floor, I have my workout outfits down here, which is what I have on today. Um, but I have like my um, workout tanks and, you know, t-shirts in this bin. And then over here I have like my shorts and my sweatpants and yoga pants in there. Um, and then on the other side of the closet, over here, we have um, more hanging shorts. So these are the shorts that I don't really like to fold. Um, I like to keep those hung. So those are more shorts. Um, back up to the top, I've got some sweatshirts, some zip up hoodies, um, some scarves and a hat. And um, then I have right here, I have, actually I have a couple of skirts hanging here, just a couple. And I have some short sleeve shirts or some more like dressy blouses that have more of a short sleeve. Then I have my dresses over here. And the dresses really aren't categorized. I kind of just put all of my dresses basically by length, so the shorter ones in the um, the front side and then the longer like maxi dresses I've put more towards the back. So that is how my closet is organized. Um, I used to also have bins down on the bottom um, with like bras and underwear and stuff and I've actually rearranged those as well. And we have another, we're going into the bathroom here. Um, I have another section in the bathroom that has a, another cabinet area and this is where I decided to put all of my like bras and underwear and um, sports bras and those kind of things so I still as you can see have a lot of space left over we're still trying to fill up our space here we didn't bring everything with us when we moved so um, you know I really don't have all of my clothes here I really only have like my 
summer stuff here. I still have a lot of fall and winter stuff back in our house in Massachusetts. So we'll be taking a trip back there pretty soon to get the rest of my stuff. So over here is my layout of all of the things that I have worn a lot of this summer and these I have categorized as my summer essentials which I'm going to kind of go through these with you um, one by one just to give you an idea of what I've been wearing this summer. So let's start with this one. Um, this is my J. Crew Racerback uh, Spaghetti Strap Tank. Um, I've been wearing a lot of this one this past summer. The color, I don't know, something that like bright hot coral color I've really liked. Um, and it goes well with a lot of my other pieces that I have. So this is just a nice, um, you know, I can wear this pretty much either way, whether it's like dressier or whether it's, you know, just hanging out around the house. So that one is the first one that I've been doing a lot of. And that's from J. Crew. Um, then also I just have a basic plain white um, spaghetti strap tank top that I got from Old Navy. Now this one I've been wearing on its own um, with some shorts occasionally or I've been putting it underneath um, some of my other tops because I have another top that I'm going to show you that is um, a little bit sheer so I wear this one underneath. Yeah, so this is just another top that I've been wearing, just a basic white tank. Uh, there's this is another top that I've got from J. Crew, and this is more. I think I wear this more if we like go out for dinner or whatever. But I've got a thing for like the nautical look this summer, like that striped nautical looking outfit. Um, so this is just, um, it's a longer tank. It's like longer in the back and a little bit shorter in the front. This one looks really good tucked in, like in the front with some shorts. Um, I usually keep like the top two buttons unbuttoned. You can button them up if you want. Um, I don't know. I just feel more comfortable with it unbuttoned. I don't really like things up around my neck usually. So this is another go-to shirt of mine, and again, it's really lightweight from J. Crew. It buttons all the way down, so you can open it up and wear like the little white tank top underneath it, and maybe put a belt around it. So that's another outfit. Here's the sheer top that I was talking about um, that I wear the little um, camisole underneath. Um, so this is from Maurice's, and it is another more dressy top. Um, it is very, very sheer. You can, you know, see through it. So you definitely need something underneath it, but it's really light and cool, and it's really pretty, and I love the cinched waist. It's very flattering on my body style. Um, and again, this looks good with shorts or like some capri jeans, which I'm going to actually show you some of my favorite ones that I have in a minute. Um, then we have... Just a plain basic, again, more on the nautical themed um, outfit, is a plain basic navy blue and white striped t-shirt. This one happens to be from Rue 21. Um, it was very inexpensive. I think it was like 5 or $7 or something like that. Again, this one is like a higher, higher in the front, lower in the back. And I usually wear this one with some shorts and either tuck, them in, tuck the shirt in completely or just tuck in the front. So that's another shirt that I've been wearing. Um, and then finally, this one I've been wearing a lot of, and I'm big on wearing black anyhow. I wear black all the time. But um, this is just a plain black tank top from Banana Republic. It's a stretchy, nice, soft material. And this, any you know, I can dress it up or I can dress it down and just be casual with it, whatever. Um, it's flat across the bottom. I've tucked this one into some shorts and I've also just, you know, kept it out. Um, so that one is another one of my go-to tops. So those are some of the more popular tops that I've been wearing. Um, this is one that I just got a couple of days ago and I've already worn it once or twice. And um, it is a long sleeve, but the sleeve is 
you can see here it's folded up or I should say buttoned up on either side so it makes it like a three-quarter sleeve and it's very lightweight it's a cotton material it's from Retroology um, very lightweight again high in the front low in the back and on the back if you can see in the video um, it's like a crepe like a, almost like a really chiffon sorry it's wrinkled <laughs> but it's like a crepe material very sheer in the back so it makes it really like cool um, so this one's good for like if we've been you know if we're gonna go out for dinner or something during the week and I don't really want to get dressed up but it's a little bit cooler and you can wear this with like either a pair of white shorts or like some you know capri style jeans which I'll show you actually I'll show you those right now so these have been, I purchased these um, when we first moved up here. I purchased them from the Ann Taylor Loft, and they are the Modern Skinny Ankle. And I'll sit back as far as I can. They have the zip on the side. I don't know if you can see the zip on the bottom side, which I love. I love that look. And again, they're um, just about to my ankle. They're maybe just above my ankle. And... These have been my go-to um, jeans. The back pocket is just pretty plain, nothing fancy. Um, I like the color. It's kind of a just a nice basic jean. I don't know, really comfortable. And I've been wearing these ones quite a bit in the evening. Like we go out for ice cream or you know if it's was it was raining here a couple days ago, so you know I put this on with um, actually the the beige shirt that I just showed you, this one right here, and just kind of wore that with some sandals. Um, dresses. Uh, I picked this dress because this is one that I have been wearing a lot of. I don't know, I've, if you kind of have seen like a theme going on here, I've been doing like a lot of like neutral colors and a lot of like nautical colors. So this is just a little short um, like sundress. It's got like a crepe material at the bottom. It's got a pocket. Actually, I think there's pockets on both sides. It buttons up the front. It's got like a cinched, a cinched waist. The waist belt is um, that same crepe kind of material. Um, this one is just from Exhilaration. I think it was like Target or something. I can't remember what where I got it, but um, yeah, just this simple little you know, beige color sundress, and I've worn this with some sandals and a hat, and you know, I don't know, I just, I really like that dress. So, I'm going to show you my shorts next. So here are some of the shorts um, I've been wearing a lot of. Um, these first ones right here are like a coral color short. Um, they are from Maurice's. I really love Maurice's. I have quite a few things from Maurice's. They're just a basic short. They are, um, I want to say three and a half inch inseam, maybe four, maybe it was a four inch inseam. So they're not super short, but they're not really long either. They kind of fit, you know, just above mid, um, mid thigh. So I've been wearing those quite a bit. I've worn those with my black tank top that I showed you, and I've worn them with, um, oh, the blue and white striped t-shirt. And then up here, we have some American Eagle jean shorts that are cuffed, and they're actually sewn cuffed, so you can't uncuff them, which I like, because I hate when shorts become uncuffed. But these are just a nice, um, stretchy, these are the, yeah, it says stretch right here. These are the stretch, I don't know what style these ones were, um, but that's what the back looks like. I don't know, I love American Eagle because I love their back pockets. I love how they fit. So those are really, um, those have been kind of a go-to short for me. And again, I've been wearing this with, um, what, did I, what did I wear that one with? Oh, I've worn that with the bright coral tank top that I've had, and I've also worn that with the blue and white striped um, tank from J. Crew with a little belt around it. And actually, I have some belts over here. These are kind of the belts that I've been wearing a lot of, just a black leather braided and a brown leather braided. Um, I'm wearing a lot of belts like around the outside of my shirts 
And again, another pair of shorts from Maurice's, and these ones are my white ones. I've worn these a ton. Um, these are probably one of my favorite pair of shorts. I love wearing white in the summer because it just makes me look really nice and tan. And again, it has the really cute back pockets. Um, I love the back pockets. And white jean shorts, I have paired this with, um, a, you know, you can wear white jean shorts with anything. But, um... I've actually really liked to wear it with my new long sleeve, I don't know if you can see it here, that shirt that I just showed you, the new long sleeve shirt, um, you know, I think that looks really cute with some, either some heels or some, some sandals or whatever. And then lastly, I have another pair of J. Crew shorts, and these are, I don't remember what they, these are the City Fit. So these were the City Fit. It's got the tab closure up the top, which I really like the tab closure on the City Fit shorts. They are a little bit shorter. I think this is only like maybe a two and a half inch inseam, something like that. So they are a little bit shorter, but I don't mind it. And again, just a plain back on those ones. And then, last but not least, I'll just show you some of the shoes. Oh, here's my, my dog. Okay, so these are some sandals that I've been frequenting. Um, these are the tan colored sandal, like a gladiator style that I had gotten from Maurice's. I bought the black ones that were just like this, which I think I've shown in a previous vlog. But these ones I really, really like because I love the colors. Again, I'm getting a lot of that coral orange that I'm so into this year. And I love the gold accents on those around the ankle so I've been using those ones quite a bit these ones have been great for like going out to dinner because there's so many nice restaurants out here in the Saratoga Springs area that we've been going out to dinner quite a lot so these ones um, I've been using more than I had previously these are um, my Ann Taylor loft they're like a wedge style heel really kind of simple um, flat uh, strap around the ankle and pretty classic looking. I can wear those with anything. With it, I can wear them with shorts or I can wear them with jeans or sundress, whatever. Really just kind of a classic sandal. And then another pair from Maurice's, which these are just kind of like a wedged thong style sandal. Um, and it's kind of got this nice like, oh, it's almost like a snake print or whatever, like a white whitey cream colored snake print and those ones go nice with just about anything so those are kind of the three pairs of sandals that I've been frequenting a lot of and then um, this was I actually just purchased this but I've been wearing this a ton um, I got it from Vineyard Vines and actually no I got it from um, a shop that holds carries Vineyard Vines in downtown and it's like a navy blue color with a little pink whale on the front and actually Sean picked this one out he thought it looked really cute so I got that and I've been wearing this with a lot of my outfits just like every day so finally we're gonna talk about my jewelry that I've been using and I kind of laid it all out over here for you to see um first of all my Michael Kors watch um, I pretty much wear this every day. This was a gift from Sean for, uh, for either Christmas last year, I think it was birthday. birthday, maybe it was my birthday last year. But I wear this and it's in the nice rose gold color. So I wear that pretty much every every day if we're you know going someplace or whatever. My Alex and Annie's, um, I have these two gold ones that I like, my Disney one and my initials. And um, these cute little pearl and rhinestone studs. I wear those. Um, some plain gold hoops up here. These little, um, these little pearl like drops. These are what I got from the fair. Um, and it, these are also in my vintage um, finds vlog that I did. So I've been wearing these quite a bit. I love pearls anyhow. So I got those. Um, that I wear and then my pearl ring that I have gotten from um, when I picked a pearl at Typhoon Lagoon and Disney a few years ago. Um, my black and rhinestone earrings from J. Crew that I had gotten and again these were in a previous vlog I've had. 
Um, these I just got not that long ago. They're just like a costume style bracelet, but I really liked the colors, and you can kind of pair these with, I can pair them with my Alice and Annie's, I can pair them with other bracelets that I have, so I've been wearing these quite a bit, and then again, this ring right here, which has that nice coral color, which adds some of that, you know, pop color to pretty much any outfit that I have, so those are kind of the pieces of jewelry that I've been wearing um, a lot this summer. So I hope you guys have enjoyed some of the things that I put together for my Midsummer Essentials. Um, I hope I've given you some ideas on outfits that you can put together. Um, feel free to follow me on my Instagram. It's the Pixie Dust Housewife. And I very often put my outfits and, you know, things that I like, you know, um, on my Instagram. Um, so follow me on there. And I will be starting um, to get out my fall items here very soon. So I'll be putting together a vlog on all of my fall must-haves. And so yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and enjoy. Bye.